Router and Arduino, a poor man's Wi-Fi dunder. We can buy an ex inexpensive router from Goodwill and turn it into an Arduino Wi-Fi dongle. Here, I choose a Netgear router, and then I need to find out the pinout for the serial port. I use a CLA Logic 16 with 16 logic channels. The, the, the thing here is to find the transmit signal. So I start a logic solver from CLA and find the transmit line here. Then I'm going to use a asynchronous tool to find out the uh, serial port settings. Here it is, a sync serial, and I found some ASCII characters coming through from the serial port, which says here decompressing in ASCII format. Now that I found the ASCII, uh, the, the serial port pinout, I use a USB UART converter to connect to the computer here. Silicon Labs CP2110X uh, using on COM5 then set it to 115.2 kb uad power it out the router and this router has ddwrt firmware on it so start showing all the messages so this is a debug port it's used to debug the router at the factory it shows up all the settings like the processor memory size and all that the leds start coming up as the router boots up into normal operating mode now I'm going to connect wirelessly to the router using the router uh, web-based uh, program or web page that resides within the router itself. I type in my credentials in the router, the ones I created when I installed the firmware, and then go into administration commands and type the Linux echo command. So I'm transferring from the router into the serial port and back into the PC. Hello world here in Spanish. Hola mundo. Here on the right, I got the Arduino, and on the left, I got a 12 volt to 5 volt converter, and I got some LEDs in the center, and I got a level converter that converts from 5 volts to 3.3 volts because the Broadcom CPU uses 3.3 volts. I don't want to burn it, so I installed a little 3.3 the 5 volts because Arduino uses 5 volts and the Broadcom CPU uses 3.3 volts so I try to keep that in control some other people use resistors and uh, center diodes I just want to buy a inexpensive level converter that converts bidirectionally between 3.3 and 5 volts now in the Arduino I wrote a small sketch that to begin with starts with a delay so it will not do anything for 60 seconds which is a time more than enough actually takes like 50 seconds for the router to put up so all these messages that come through the debug port like processor speed its frequency I mean memory size and everything are passed so the Reno will not get anything of that I'm gonna connect to the uh, router on my laptop here I don't have any wireless security settings. I'm not using web or WPA. It's open. It's an open hotspot. So, uh, just for the simplicity of the video, I'm not going to type in any credentials to it. The Arduino will not do anything for 50 seconds. That's how the sketches wrote. All it's going to do is listen to the serial port for any specific characters. In this case, I'm using A, B, C, and D, capital. Any of those letters will have uh, an LED turned on and off. It's a very simple sketch in the Arduino. Just listens to the serial port, and if a specific letter or character is typed in and fed into the serial port using the uh, uh, echo command on the Arduino. Here I'm using Hyperterminal as a Telnet client. I don't know if people know, but you can use Hyperterminal, the old Windows uh, Hyperterminal. It still works on Windows 10 here. All you need is the two uh, Hyperterminals.x and Hyperterminal DLL. And it will run. No special settings. It will see all your COM ports and also can connect to your TCP IP using WinSocket 23, which is the Telnet port 
I'm gonna connect to it just uh, so I need to oh yeah I need to open up my I already have an it uh, telnet settings file just need to uh, open it up here you just click open here I got my old here telnet now I'm into the login I'm copying my credentials my username which is root user I'm the root user, that's the only user uh, created on this router. And actually that's only the only one that works with this. It's a very it's Linux, but it's very it's a very stripped down version of Linux here. There is the flash uh, ASCII welcome page or screen from the router. Then you can type your Linux command like list or change uh, directory and all that. You know, so stripped down, very simplistic Linux environment stuff. But you can type in the echo command. The echo command will send a specific set of characters to any destination here. So the echo, then you type in your between uh, uh, like a string. You know, echo. Just copy paste. From the, uh, the echo, and here I'm going to replace text with the actual uh, letter A. Letter A in the Arduino will, if letter, letter A comes through, a capital A comes through, is going to set one of the LEDs on, and letter B will turn it off. Here it is the Arduino will receive letter A, and then if letter A comes through the serial port, is going to turn on uh, one of the LEDs here, which I place uh, right under this uh, transparent dome in the uh, router that center light round thing here. It says net here. It's turning on, and to turn it off, what do you choose? Type echo B. Now, I could have used my cell phone for this, my Android cell phone smartphone uh, but I'm using I'm actually filming with it but there is I have a talent uh, app from the Play Store that is free uh, it's a talent client and you can install it in your Android maybe in your iOS I'm not sure there's a lot of talent client apps that you can use so you can potentially use this in your car, like said, you, like you lost your keys, and you want to turn uh, use a keyless entry, you can connect to your hotspot in your car and have the locks unlock. And you know, your Arduino has several IO lines, so you can do whatever you want with them. I mean, they have they can be PW PWM outputs, and you can control. Uh, several motors you can connect this to your remote control car you can have wireless control of your uh, drone kind of thing I may place one of these into my uh, RC cars I got a big toy car here I can probably use that for maybe a Raspberry Pi but I probably just spent like $15 on this thing so it's pretty uh, cheap Raspberry Pi and everything probably Test around thirty-six to forty dollars. The Arduino, the uh, router, the level converter, and the twelve volt to five volt uh, step-down converter. Probably everything was like fifteen dollars or something. Really cheap, and you can do a lot of things with it. I mean, I'm just thinking probably use it in my car to uh, like a keyless entry, or if you really like, you have you lost your keys. Your, your keys, you kind of, you left them inside the car. You can use this to unlock the car. Uh, and it's a wireless. I mean, you can set uh, your web or your WPA security level on it. So only you can uh, access to it. And you can probably use it in your home to, like, do remoteless, I mean, remote stuff with it. Uh, I mean, the possibilities are vast. I mean, what can you do with it? I, mean, I would like to know what you guys think you can probably do with it. I'm thinking probably use it in my car, 
like a keyless entry or something like in like a redundant system in case I lost my keys and I want to unlock my car uh, I don't know a remote starter although I have bad experiences with remote starters do never use a remote starter on a uh, a standard or manual car you want to use it in automatic only take my word for that also um, you can probably use it in your uh, drone project if you want to do a robot a wireless control robot you can probably make a telnet app using uh, Visual Studio there's a lot I've seen some apps uh, running talent sessions based on Visual Studio they're very simple to make there's a lot of uh, pre code on stack exchange or you know you can probably just copy paste like a lot of people like me do uh, if you like the video comment below like it if you like and see you next